Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to actually talk about some great cafes that I found while visiting Toronto this summer. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Mike and I'm a travel vlogger. I've been living and working and traveling around the world for 20 years and I finally decided to share those adventures with you. Hopefully uh, this channel will give you some great ideas about places you might want to visit on your own trips. Or you might just see something new and different. Now when someone usually thinks about coffee in Canada, usually we think about Tim Hortons or a second cup, but there are so many great cafes, especially when you're in a big city to try. So I'm just going to give you the four right now that I went to, and then I'll let you watch the video and you can see for yourself what these places look like. So the four cafes that I tried while I was in Toronto were Cha Time, which is based in Taiwan. The second one was called Cup of Tea, which is based in Hong Kong. The third place is Latao, which is from Japan. And the fourth cafe that I tried was actually just a little quirky place called the Poop Cafe in Koreatown. Now these were all different, all had their own unique vibe, and I enjoyed the tea and coffee in each one. Cha Time opened its first store in Taiwan in 2005 and has since become the largest tea house chain in the world with more than 2,500 stores in 38 countries. So here in Toronto there's tons and tons of bubble tea places which is amazing because it's really hard to find in Ohio sometimes so we're just trying lots and lots of them while I'm here. So today I actually got something um, with blueberries in it and I've never had blueberry flavored bubble tea so this is new for me, but I love blueberries so it's okay. Okay, not bad. I did tell him not to put any sugar and it's not very sweet so that's my fault. So right now I'm just trying cup of tea which is right behind me and it's originally from Hong Kong but I'm told they do really great bubble tea so let's check that out. Cup of Tea, also known as Kuang Fong Yuan, is a Hong Kong milk tea chain that opened its first store in 1952. It serves up many milk teas that are made using traditional techniques and each batch is brewed for at least 45 minutes before serving. They also serve a variety of Hong Kong snacks. For something a bit fruitier, I highly recommend the Mango Sago Pomelo drink. Hey, so I just found this really cute little cafe here called Latao. This is actually a, a newer Japanese cafe and apparently everything that they serve here is imported straight from Japan. So all the cakes, all the desserts, all the tea, all the coffee, all imported. It's a little pricey, but it might be fun to check it out. Latao is a famous dessert establishment located in Hokkaido Prefecture, Japan. All the ingredients are locally sourced and its main specialty is its double fromage cheesecake. The location here in Toronto is their only store outside of Asia and I have to say the food was amazing. I've always wanted to try a poop cafe. They actually have some of these in Asia, but I've never gotten to go to one. So here in Toronto, I'm gonna try this thing out. Let's go inside. While there are several poop themed dessert bars around the world, I found the one that opened in 2016 right here in Toronto near Koreatown. Uh, so right now I'm actually sitting on a toilet seat.
Some notable features of this themed cafe were the toilet seats and poo-shaped sofas, as well as mini urinals to drink from and brown ice cream served in miniature porcelain bowls. This was my first experience in this kind of cafe, and I have to say, it's really all about the ambiance. So seriously, um, the water just came out in a small urinal. I'm so excited. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video about me trying some of the cafes around Toronto. I'm just kind of curious, which cafe was your favorite? For me personally, I think it was the Poop Cafe only because it was so unique and different. And it was fun in kind of a bizarre way, but I really did enjoy it. Um, but anyway, if you really enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on some of my adventures. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.